Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. I'm going to show you why it's not. I'm going to transfer it. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. How many God? One Lord. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. So we got one God pursuant to the Bible. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. The Most High God created the Son of Man, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Amashiach Yehoshai in the Hebrew tongue. He's the King of the Jews, right? And so there's only one God, the Most High God, Yahweh, the God of Israel. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And what did the Lord say? I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head, the head of man, is Christ. Right? Amashiach Yahweh who the world calls Christ. Read. And the head of every woman is the man. And the head of what? Every woman is the man. The head of every woman is the man. See, the Bible puts everything in order. We've been out of order for 500 years since we've been in this country. The reason that we're only in America is because we rebelled against the Most High God and He put us into captivity. Well, we remain 500 years later for our disobedience to Him. We don't. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. So you have a pecking order, if you would. The Most High God and then the Son of Man, Yahweh, our Lord, and Savior, and King, and then the man, and then the woman, and then the children. That's the order according to God, right? Now the sister asked, what's your name, sis? Brianna. Sister Brianna, beautiful name. The sister asked us, is smoking bothering us? We're going to tell you what God says about it, okay? Read what you got, brother. First Corinthians 3 and... Uh, I, I just don't want to be disrespectful. Right, we appreciate it. And yeah, if you can put it out, we appreciate oh, it. But we don't smoke. Read what you got. It's the book of Corinthians, First Corinthians, uh, chapter uh, three, verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? What did God say? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So know ye not that you are the temple of God, sister. God dwells in you, as in each and every one of us. You are the temple of God. Read, and that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Read on. This is verse seventeen. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So if any man or woman, it's written in manly terms, if any man or woman, read the what? If any man defile the temple of God, him, him shall God destroy. So God says that he will destroy you for defiling your temple. We know that smoking causes cancer, right? The Surgeon General, he still put the sign on the side of the thing, right? It's a warning, smoking will kill you. That's how Lord the Lord defiles or kills us, right, for defiling our temple. Go ahead, Sister Brianna. He said, I, I, I lost it when I was sitting down the living room. Right. Said that the Lord dwells. I love the Lord. Why not? Lives. Be what? Lives. Like lives. Well, dwell means live. I don't, I don't think dwell means, I, people have used dwell mm -hmm. as a negative connotation. Christianity is used well as a negative consultation. We don't teach Christianity. I don't know. Right? All right. So that's why we want to teach you. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 64. I want to show you something. Christianity is nowhere in this book. Give me a what, first John, uh, I still like it. Romans 1 and 25. Romans 1 and 25. I want to show you something, Sister Brown. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So we've been scattered all throughout the land. In every nation you can find Israelites, so-called black folks, right? Read. From the one end of the, of the earth, even unto the other. Read on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there, when you get there, like we came over to America on slave ships, when you get there, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. You're going to serve other gods. Now we read the Bible, but the Most High God of Israel is telling us when you get to these shores, right? Soul in Alabama, soul, soul to Master So and So down in Alabama, soul to So and So and So in Williamsburg, Virginia, soul down in uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, soul to your enemy. When you get there, you're going to serve other gods. Come on which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So we didn't know nothing about this land or their Christianity, neither did our forefathers. Read. 
even wood and stone. Even what? Wood and stone. Even the wood and the stone, Sister Brianna. The wood is the cross. You see them wooden crosses out front of the churches? Those are the woods, right? And the stone is the cobblestone. A lot of our people are engulfed in Islam, right? But we're not Arabs. Christianity was set up by the so-called white men. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Read what you got right here, brother. It's the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 25. Sister, I want you to look at that sign right there. You see where it says Sunday, man-made worship, man-made religions. See that? Read this. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? What the Lord said. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So somebody didn't lie. Who the hell didn't lie? We've been here 500 years and right. Who changed the truth of God to a lie? Read. And worship and serve the cre cre the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. So worship and serve the creature. Worship and serve the creature, the so-called red dragon, the devil, more than the Most High God himself. Right? Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Come on. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Read that again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So we were spoiled by the philosophy of the so-called white man. That's right. Teaching us religion. Teaching us Christianity through Roman Catholicism all the way up to the Christian church today. Read. After the tradition of men. After the what? Tradition of men. What are some of the traditions of men? You ever heard of Merry Christmas, baby? Christmas is an abomination to God. And in the Bible, telling us, you and I, not to do it. But because we're following the traditions of the so-called white man that started your Christianity church, right easter halloween thanksgiving right new year's in the winter time these are the traditions of men right. let me finish it three after the rudiments of the world after the rudiments of the world christ said i called you out of the world that you should be mine three and not after christ and not after the lord see so we're going to church on sunday worshiping a pagan god on the wrong day today is the sabbath day the Lord says six days, right, have I made, but the seventh is the holy day. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. Let's read it. On that day, no working, no shopping, no cooking. So today, Sunday is the first day of the week, right? Even on the Roman Greco calendar, you read left to right, S, X. Well, if Sunday is the first day of the week, right, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, love. today is the Sabbath day. But look at our people shopping, cooking, breaking God's laws. Read Exodus 20 and 8. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it home. What the Lord say? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it home. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Give me Nehemiah 10, 31. Read. Six days shalt thou labor. How many days? Six days shalt thou labor. So if Sunday is the first day of the week, six days takes you to Friday. God says the day begins at evening until the next day. So Friday night is the Sabbath. Is the Sabbath kicks in when that sun goes down. All the way to Saturday night. What are we doing on Friday night? Huh? Friday night just got paid. Got money in my pocket. Right? Hey, hey. Breaking God's law. And that's why we getting out behind with. Read that again. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Ah. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Come on. In it thou shalt not do any work. Any what? In it thou shalt not do any work. Our people are working right now. What's up, brother? Our people are working right now. All in these stores and stuff. Right? My brother's over there washing cars. Today is the Sabbath day. Yeah, we're doing the work of the Lord. Right? This is the honor. The Lord have commanded us to come out and wake you all up to the truth. Well, this is righteous work. Read. Thou nor th they ask because they blind. That's right. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. Ain't nobody supposed to be working. Not even your cattle. Nothing. Everybody's supposed to sit your behind down and talk about the Lord. Read. For in six days the Lord hath made the heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, 
So the Lord made all these things. And he said, no working. He also said, no shopping. Yahweh Shai, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, said, I'm going to wink at your ignorance because, Sister Brianna, you didn't know. That's why we out here, to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I was, I was, I was right. Dead. I was dead. Well, I know, I know. I, I do know. I, I do have four things. You do? I do. Right. I'm not, I'm a real I do a lot. I'm ready to ask you, can I be your lot, Tisha? Ask you, can I be your brother? Well, there you go. So, Setting up business on the Sabbath day. Like, so, yeah. And, and I woke up, I had an ugly last night, last night. Mm -hmm. I could have had an ugly morning. Right. Right now, I'm, it's my hands swollen. I, right. So, I, I, so I've, been, I've been out getting my, my spirit. Let me do it around the 76. Huh? All right, so we're going to show you you're an Israelite. You're not black, you're not African American. That's a color in the crayon box and two white people, right? And then we're going to show you what the Lord requires of you as that Israelite woman. And why bad things happen to mostly our people because we're disobedient to God. He sent his son down there to die for his people, Israel. And he come down here for everybody else. Read what you got right here, brother. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Come on. And if, and if the people of the land bring where or any victuals, victuals, right? On victuals, which is food, read any. So if the people of the other nations, there go the nations. Do you see number two on down over there in that white table of nations? so-called white folks, East Indian man, Japanese man, Chinese man, all of that. You see that? Those are the table of nations. These are the other people of the land. Read that again. And if, 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 if so like you. And if the people of the land bring where, uh, where or, are, or any victuals, where are like merchandise, food, services, like you got the Chinese right around here selling us dog, cat, and rat on the Sabbath day. You got the African people over there braiding hair, like you say you braid hair. They sell us all of this fake hair and they braid it on the Sabbath day. That's the other nations bringing victuals to you, God's chosen people, on the Sabbath day that he just read you're not supposed to break. Read. Vituals on the Sabbath day Come to on. sell. That we, that we, it's like, that we would not buy. We would what? That we would not buy it. We would not buy it. So no shopping on the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Read. Of them on the Sabbath. So we're not supposed to shop. On the Sabbath, uh -huh. at all, what huh? What if it's for self love? What if it's for what? For self love. Six days shall you do everything you need to do, but on the Sabbath day is God's day. Okay. Right. 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 I understand. So let me show you something. If you'll allow me fi fi five minutes, oh, that's cool. If you allow me five minutes, I'm going to teach you that you're an Israelite. And then, and then, Sister Brown, after that, I'm going to show you. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to literally take five minutes. I'm, I'm saying this because you're not telling me so much. I'm mad. I ain't even turn like That's okay. We're on TV. Here, you get a car, you can watch it again. You can watch it on repeat as right, much as you want. And you get every precept that I'm telling you. And this man right here, he's going to put the precepts underneath when I say them so you can see what I call them. Okay? All right, so I'm going to show you an Israelite. And then I'm going to show you how many high holy days God gives you way more than the world that we were never taught here in Babylon the Great, the land of our captives. Right? What you got, Ock? Uh, Leviticus 23. All right, so let's show five her she's an Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy like 7 and 6. Read it. Says this is the book of Deuteronomy, like chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou, art, and, and one. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God calls you holy. When you go to the book of Leviticus 20 and 26, holy means separate. He has separated us from the other 17 nations that we should be his. We are the chosen people of God. His chosen people, right? And we'll read it for you out of the Bible. Right? His peculiar people. His firstborn son. Right? Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people that... No, no God has told us we're equal to everybody. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God has a chosen people. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. A chosen people above all the other people. We were not taught that over in this land. We were taught we're all equal, which we're not. We haven't received, received equality since we got off of them boats. The Constitution has us, the 13th of, Amendment to the Constitution of these United States of America, have us three-fifths of a human being. 
A dog has more rights in this country than we do. You understand that, Sister Brianna? And so we have to tell our people the truth. We've been lied to for four, five hundred years going up in them Christian churches, letting us spill them lies to us, thinking that we're Gentiles and less than, when in fact you're the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. God's chosen people, right above all the others. Read this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1. Come on. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, uh -huh. and Israel, whom I have chosen. Who the God you? Israel, whom I have chosen. So the Israelites, he said, Jacob, my servant. Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he wrestled with the angel. He had 12 sons. Those 12 sons make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And they're here today. All of these so-called black folks. You're not black. Black is a, a color in a crayon box. Right? You're not African-American. That's two different white people. What African-American sign? There it is. Named after two different white folks. Them two white people didn't make you. Then why are we calling ourselves African-American? Sister, why are you cutting your eyes at me? I'm talking to you too, sister. No. Yes, I'm talking to you. Come here to words, sister. No. You know your nationality? No. You heard enough? You ain't heard anything. You Sit just there. got over here. No, I'm going to the train station. I'll talk with y'all. All right. Well, next time you come back, come here to work. You need to hear the truth, sister. I already know. She was, what over, you know? Here. What's the she truth? was over here in the summer. Yeah, what's the truth, sister? There's a whole lot of truth. What's one name, one thing about the truth? God is God. <laughs> the Most High said, give me a Romans 10 and 21. Thing, I want to read to you what God says about our people. What you just you witnessed do, it. What can't, one thing you can't do is force it on That's me. why two-thirds of our people are going to burn. We're not forcing it. We're not forcing it. We're warning you. We're not asking you a damn thing. We're telling you, if you don't get it together, you're going to burn in the lake of fire. Watch this. Read this. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 21. Uh -huh. But to Israel, he but said, to who? But to Israel. But not a black folk. But to Israel. African American. But to Israel, he, he said, all day long. How long? All day long. All damn day long. Come on. I have stretched forth my hands unto, unto a disobedient and gangsaying people. All day long have I stretched forth my hand to a disobedient, gangsaying people. This is why all of these bad things happen to us. Sister Brianna, have you heard of Brianna Taylor? All these bad things happen to our people for a reason. Because you're God's chosen people and you can't do what the other people do. God don't give a damn about these other nations. He only loves his children. And just like he gave you the law, statutes, and commandments and expects you to keep them, when you break them and run around in your ignorance talking about God is God and God is true and I know the truth, right? Give me 1 John 2 and 3. I dropped that whole in. Give me a 1 John 2 and 3. I want to show you what God says to all the people that know God and think they know God. My name is Kazak. I need, I need an ending. Okay. I'm going to end this for you. Okay. You're God's chosen people. Give me Deuteronomy. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because I can't say you You're an Israelite. According to the Bible. Okay. If you got to go, you got to go. But I want you to know one thing. That you are an Israelite and God requires you to keep his laws. Read this right quick. This is the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. And hereby we do know that we know him. I know the Lord. I already know this. I know the truth. That's like what that woman said, right? I know the Lord. Read. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. What if you don't keep his commandments? Read. He that saith I know him. Like this woman that just left. And keepeth not his commandments. Ain't keeping one damn commandment. Read. Is a liar. I call these people. A liar. A liar. And. And the truth is not in him. Nothing about the truth is you said lie. That's what God said about the people that think they know him. Right? Read this. This is going to show you a couple of laws you're breaking that you didn't know. One is shopping on the Sabbath day. I, I know every law I'm breaking. What's the name of another? Uh, uh, smoking. Yeah, well, that's drink. true. Well, drinking is okay as long as you do it in moderation. Oh, I, I have Right? Yeah, you got to do it in moderation. I'm going to read you one. Read this. Look at that sign right there with, with Tyler Perry and him on it. Right in the front, right by your foot. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 25. Come on. But if a man find... 20, uh, 25. 22 and 22 and 25. Hold on. Wait, I think I need to hear that. I need to hear this. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall what? The woman shall not wear what is pertaineth unto a man. Read. Look at that. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man be walking around here in a damn dress. Come on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All that do what? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Well, Sister Brianna, all that do so 
on abomination. Give me Revelation 21, 27. On abomination until they showing you what righteous wear is. Women are supposed to be dressed in modest apparel, right? Your curves, your shape, and all that's for your husband to see and your husband on. You're supposed to be modestly covered. My wife is modestly covered, head wrapped, beautiful. Yeah, look good, don't she? That, that's my wife. But she's modestly, uh, she can't go out here and another man can see her behind and all that because she's covered up. That's our heritage that we didn't know. We didn't know that. None of us knew that. So now you have to, well, then you're sinning willfully. You, yeah, you got to repent and turn from your sin, sister. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 27. Come on. And there shall in no wise enter in, into it anything that defileth. Revelation 21. Neither whatsoever worketh for abomination. Neither what? We're gonna read it again. Remember, wearing pants for a woman is an abomination, sister. Read it again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 27. So if you want to go to the kingdom of heaven and not stay here and burn with two-thirds of our people and all of these wicked people here in America, read. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Neither whatsoever worketh for abomination. So an abomination is wearing pants. We have to come out and give warning to our people that this is an abomination. They're not teaching you that in the Christian church at all. Our sisters are wearing the tightest pants in the church or the flimsy skirts in the church, right? Breaking God's laws. They didn't know it. So the, what, the Most High God and His Son have sent us out of His watchmen to Israel. You so called blacks are the Israelites, according to the Bible, who wake them up in these last days. Joe Biden just said yesterday. Putin is more likely to go ahead and shoot them nuclear missiles. He called it Armageddon. Armageddon is in the Bible, right? That's where they got it from. World War III and nuclear bombs. Guess what you cannot do? Breathe in nuclear heat. Hmm. So you either gonna get taken up out of here and protected, or you're going to burn, right? The Lord said all the proud, all the stiff neck will burn. Judgment begins with the house of the Lord, with the Israelites. He's starting with us. And so we're trying in these last days to wake up our people while you still have a chance to repent. Okay, you got any questions? I know you got to go. You're an Israelite according to God. You got to keep the commandments and have the faith in Yahweh Shai, the world calls Christ, his son. Okay? I'm a talker. I've been going to some heavy lessons. Well, my answer question is he going to bring me out. Well, we're here. You know, if you're ready to ask it now, that's fine. Right? My wife knows the scriptures. She talked to sisters all day. She's a mother and a grandmother. So whatever you go to, I can assure you, she's been there and done that. Right? So not only, the, give me Titus 2 and 3. Titus 2 and 3 real quick. If you ever get it from. I want to show you something. Titus 2 and 3, what the Lord says about it. You got it? Read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Read aloud. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So the aged women, and the meaning, you know, our, our mothers, our grandmothers like that, right? Read. Not false actors, act, act, Not false accusers. Come on. Not giving too much wine. Come teachers on. of good things. Teachers of good things. Read on. Verse 4. That they may teach the young woman. That they may what? That they may teach the young woman. That they may what? That they may teach the young woman. That they may teach the young women, Sister Brianna, read. To be sober. Uh -huh. To love their husband. To do what? To be sober. To love their husband. Don't drink too much. Love your husband, read. To love their children. Come on. To, di to, to, be, to be discreet. Make you get no hug? Read. Chad. Cat. That's Chad. 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 Uh, Keepers at home. Good obedience to their own husband. Even if you don't want one, read. That the word of God be not blasphemy. That the name of God be not blasphemy. Like that's all right. That's all right. Like yeah, that's, that, that's all right. Don't be nervous. This is the first time reading all praises to the most high. Right? So an Israelite, we got a phone number on there if you want to call in. We out here every Saturday, 3 o'clock until. Okay? You come by anytime, ask your questions. We'll be more than happy to answer them. This is our history book. I bring my children. Bring your children. We'll teach them too. Okay? The Bible says train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart, right? So we want your ch children to learn the truth. So they don't have to be in the street like some of our young men shooting each other in gangs and stuff like that. Because nobody taught them. All right? Sister Brianna off the scene. Shalom. Shalom That's peace in Hebrew. All right. All praises to the Most High. Let's wear in. 
Uh, all praises to the Most High. First and foremost, we give all honor and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double salutations to our brothers, right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. My people is foolish, right? Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, putting their lives on the line to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And last but not least, to our family, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians of Negroid descent, we greet you in the marvelous tongue, in the words of Hebrew, in the words in Hebrew, in the priest, a shalom, shalom, and a kumya shalom,